Uh, well, let us also that, talk that, about... That does not imply mm -hmm. that others are not important. In fact, my position is that the most important person is not even the doctor, the nurse, the pharmacist, or the laboratory scientist, or the radiographer, but the Nigerian citizen, the patient. If That's that the is the important. case, if the patient is the most important yeah. person, how do we then ensure that the rivalry which has besieged or you know, dealt with the health sector for quite a while now is brought to an end? It doesn't well, look like there's any end it, to this rivalry. It's, it's, it's peculiar to the health sector. And I'm not sure we have that in other sectors. And, um, is it peculiar to the Nigerian healthcare sector? It is, it is peculiar to the Nigerian sector. Because in other sector, nobody even cares. You do your work happily and you move on. So what can we do to end it? I mean, if it's about, if it's just Nigeria, I mean, Joe Hesu asks for demands. NMA says, no, you're an illegal body. You know, we don't even recognize you. Well, thankfully, the Minister of Health who needs to deal with them recognizes them. Yeah, we're talking how, to them. How do you begin to say, we cannot continue like this? The rivalry in well, this we, sector is also killing the health sector. Unfortunately for us, we started... Uh, by bringing all, all of them under the same roof. Last year, we had two sessions of conversation. They said, look, we must come together. We had two sessions, and unfortunately, what has happened now has created a setback. But we still must come under the same roof and talk. Uh, because without coming under the same roof to talk, um, we are not going to really offer the health care that our people deserve. How big a problem is it for you? Is, as, is, as a major, is a major as issue. As minister. Is a major issue. Do you think it's something you can end before your tenure I believe runs so. out? I believe so. Let's talk about corruption in the healthcare sector. Some people will say that to ensure that the monies that are earmarked, we've talked about how, you know, we, we are not earmarking enough. I mean, you have complained of underfunding of the healthcare That's sector correct. and you, you're looking for more money. But mm. then it's also effective spending, efficient spending of the monies that are allocated, ensuring that whatever it is that goes there, the little that we have there is showing. I mean, we are getting value for money for whatever it is that we spend there. Well, N Nigeria is a country where people cry wolf when there was none. Uh, people talk about corruption, but it's difficult for them to bring to the table real evidences to justify that allegation. Uh, you recognize that there was even a press release by Jesu saying that it is not the, 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 the human resources, it is not funding that is mitigating against uh, delivering health, but the, the corruption in the air sector. I can see it. Do you know the real corruption? About 80 to 90 percent of the resources is used to pay people. That to me is the corruption. You used and, to pay and, salaries, you Yes, mean. salaries. That's the corruption. You think it's corruption to oh, pay staff their salaries? It, 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 when, when, when they are not delivering the service, is that not corruption? You mean when they're on strike? Even when they're not on strike, are, are we measuring the input? Whose are job we, is it to measure it? Are, are we measuring the input? That's why I've directed CMDs to do audit, find out are people really working. I was instrumental to a Nigerian getting a position in... Northwestern University. It's just been made a chief of infectious disease. The last time I had a conversation with him, he said, Prof, thank you for all you've done for me. I've just been made chief of infectious disease. Do you know what I was able to find out? That the matron in the clinic would document the number of patients that were seen by each doctor. You, you had that type of checks and balances. We need to document what the people do. When did they come to work? The laboratory person will have to justify working in the laboratory and getting paid. How many assays did this person run? It's not just about number. What did they do? So we, we need to, and when I address the chief executives and the chairman of the boards, I told them we need to do audit. We need to justify our pay. We need to work for our money. How was that received? Oh, I'm sure well received. We are going to do a retreat for all of them so that we can put the, give them some guidance. We are going to strengthen them. We are going to do workshops. We need to document what people do daily. I've had, to, I've had calls to use the National Hospital, which is mm. supposed to be a center of excellence. Oh, it is. And sometimes I w 
well, it is not to my own estimation. Well, it depends. The, 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 the it depends. people whom we saw, thankfully, yeah. I mean, yeah. they were excellent people. They were good. very good at their jobs. Good. But then when you look at the environment under which they operate, you have to ask, what is there really for doctors not to want to work outside of this country? What are we doing to ensure that the people who work in our hospitals have a conducive environment for them to work what, in what, what and not mean, want to leave the mean, country? When, when you say conducive, what do you mean by conducive? What exactly do you mean? Because I've seen Minister, people. Have you been to our healthcare facilities in recent times? I've been to many. To many of them. Are yeah. you impressed by what you see? Or is it that... That's why I'm asking you. Because I, 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 I also the, know. I, I, mean, I want people... You see, I've had to face a group of people. And they yeah. say, oh, uh, we don't have this. We don't have... I say, have you been to any other hospital outside this country? They said no. I'm going to be very on yeah. Thankfully, so, I have. Yeah. I have been to so, hospitals outside yeah. of this country. I also know that when ministers and commissioners and important people are coming to pay visits, I know that the hospitals wear a fantastic new look. You know, the beds are made, well, even I, where they claim I, I, that I, there are I no don't sheets. Do that. The, the day, sheets are done. The day I visited National Hospital, I got there at 7 a.m. Was, it, I, was I, it a scheduled visit? It wasn't. 7 a.m., I was at the gate, and I said, CMD. I want to pay a visit to your hospital. Are you around? And to my surprise, he was in his office. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. And I walk around. When I visit hospitals, even when you plan to take me to some route, I take the other way. I visit your toilet. I want to see what your linen looks like. Are you I'll... happy with what you've seen so far? Or do you think that we could do far better? We, we could do better. Because like I said, uh, if anybody who says we are there, is not really a progressive person. Whatever we have can always be better. And that's my position. Mm. We take a moment now. When we return, the minister shares his perspective on the suspension and eventual recall of the National Health Insurance Scheme's executive secretary. Please stay with us. <laughs> 